Hello, Power Appers. My name is Todd Beginski. I'm a Microsoft MVP and a partner and CTO at Canvas. My team and I help Microsoft create the Shoutouts Power App. This Power App is yet another in the Office 365 Power App template series that you can find right on the web.powerapps.com homepage. So here I am on the web.powerapps.com homepage and to find this app and install it in your own environment, what you need to do is scroll down to the bottom, click the see more link, and then select shoutouts and pick make this app. After you do that, the app will appear right here inside of your Power Apps editor. This Power App uses Excel to store the data behind the scenes. The first thing you're going to want to do is come up and click this Make My Own App button right up here and then make a connection to where you'd like to store your data. You can put it in all these different locations that you see here. I'm going to select OneDrive for this demo. When you do that, the Excel sheet is then created inside of that storage location. Sample data is added to it and then the Shoutouts application is reloaded and connected to that data source. You could also implement this application with the Common Data Service, which we originally did, but we decided to switch it over to Excel so that any license of Power Apps would work with it. Shoutouts uses the Office 365 Users and Office 365 Outlook connectors, so I'm going to allow that connection to both of those places to happen and authenticate to them and that will allow my Shoutouts app to get the data from the Excel sheet to get data about users in my Office 365 tenancy It first starts out and shows you some screens to tell you about the app, like this one. Use Shoutouts to tell your colleagues how awesome they are. Clicking Next tells us a screen about how Shoutout messages can be read by everyone in the company in the activity feed. You can also send pictures to enhance your Shoutouts. Finally, when you send a Shoutout, Shoutouts are emailed to both the recipient and their manager. So here's what it looks like when you start it off right off the bat. You will have this one sample data item here that's in the Excel sheet. You will be pictured in the top left and your Office 365 picture if you have one. And then all of the users that you frequently interact with will be displayed on the right side of the screen. These are all people inside of my company that I interact with the most. The activity feed right here shows you all of the shout outs for everyone in the entire company. The to me feed shows me just shout outs that have come to me. And the shout outs from me obviously is the ones that I have sent to someone else. As you can see, I haven't sent any shout outs, so the app is encouraging me to send one. If you click the info button, you will be walked uh, right back through the wizard that we saw at the beginning of the application. You can also click the send shout out button here, under a user, here, or you can also search for someone to send the shout out to as well. So if I actually send one to myself as an example, here I can see shout outs to and from me and this particular user here. So if I want to send one to this user, the currently selected user appears. I can see the wizard and the progress at the top of what I need to do. First, I need to find someone, then give them a shout out type, put in a message and a photo, review it and send it. So there are many different shout out types you can select from here. Customer advocate, for example, problem solver, team player, whatever you like helpful feedback. You can see they all have different colors in the header and both the icon change when you select one. On the left hand side you can also just see a description of what that shout out type represents. So I'll pick helpful feedback and click next. Here I can type a message to this person and tell them why I'm giving them this shout out. I can also optionally upload a photo. By clicking the Upload Photo button, I bring up the browser that lets me look at photos I'd like to upload. 
Here I'll pick, take a picture or upload a picture of my dog Obi. So I can open that and now I can upload Obi's picture. I can also click change photo to select a different photo or delete it if I don't like it. After you've uploaded the photo and done the message, you pick the next button. This shows you a preview of what your shout out will look like in the feed that everyone will see. If you like it, just click send. If not, click back, step through the wizard and modify it accordingly. After you send the shout out, it is added to the Excel sheet, or as I mentioned before, you could put it in the common data service or anywhere else you choose to plumb the application as well. In this case, it's going into the Excel sheet the shout out has been sent and as I come back now I can see in the activity feed there's my shout out. When a shout out does not include an image like in the example one that comes with the application up here you will not see this picture icon. However with this one I did upload a picture so I do see the icon which allows me to click on it and see my dog Obi. Now that I've uploaded one, I can go to shoutouts to me and see that it's the one I sent to myself and I can look at shoutouts from me. In both of these cases, I have the option to delete the shoutout and I have a pop-up light box which allows me to confirm if I'd like to do that or not. As I mentioned before, your manager will receive a copy of that shoutout and so will you via an email whenever one is sent. Here's the email that was just sent with the shout out I sent. In our Active Directory, Tim is set as my manager and therefore he received a copy of the email as well as me. And then I also have the attachment of that file attached to this message as well. If I click the open shout outs button, it will go and open that shout out application directly as long as you have um, a web browser available on the device where you are viewing the email. To configure the Power App to send an email with a link in it that points right to your shout out Power App in your Office 365 environment, you do the following things. First, you go to the details page for your shout out application and you copy the web link right here. Then you come back to the shout out app in the shout out editor or the power app editor I should say go to the confirm message screen click on form 2 and select the on success function the on success function is what fires after that shout out is created in the Excel uh, data table so if we look at the on success method down inside of the HTML you're gonna find that hyperlink right here that is rendered and so you're going to take the value that you copied and paste it right here and then just save your power app. So after you do that then you can come back to the screen that allows you to publish your power app right like this and publish it out to your organization. From then on out all those emails will include the button that opens up the power app right inside of your power apps environment. Keep an eye on my YouTube channel and my blog for more information about this application where I'm going to be doing a bunch of deep dives into how we built it. And you can also learn more about it here on the Power Apps blog and this blog post by Emma Cooper, which describes the shout out application and some of the cool functionality we have in it. Hope this helps you out. Have a good one.